When should you deadhead hydrangea? That's the topic for this video. It's early fall and these flower heads are finished. Should we prune them now? Should we leave them? Do the pruning in spring? What is the best time to prune hydrangea? To answer that question, it's important for you to know which type of hydrangea you have. Now there are four basic types of hydrangea. The most popular is probably the macrophylla, the big leaf hydrangea. There's also a species called serrata, and it can be clumped together in the macrophylla group. The other one that's pretty popular is the aborescence hydrangea, or the smooth leaf hydrangea. The one you're looking at right here is a paniculata, or what some people call the PG hydrangea. But you really shouldn't use that name because PG is a specific cultivar of paniculata. We shouldn't call them all PGs, but that's what horticulturists tend to do. And the fourth one is quercifolia, or the oak leaf hydrangea. Now that one's very distinct because if you look at the leaves, they look like an oak leaf. If you don't know what type of hydrangea you have, hop on over to my blog and I've created a special post to walk you through some steps to identify the type you have. It's a pretty simple process and it's a lot of fun. Now we can take the four common hydrangeas and break them up into two groups. We have the macrophylla, the big leaf hydrangea, and the oak leaf, and we treat those the same way. These hydrangea will flower earlier in the year and then they start making new buds for next year in the middle of summer. So in July and August, they're forming those buds. They're already on the plant. If you prune that plant at that time of year, or even in fall or spring, there's a very good chance you cut off the flowers for next year. So the best time to deadhead those hydrangea is right after they flower. Now, if you want to enjoy the old flower heads, and they can be fairly picturesque in the garden, you can leave them on the plant and prune later, but you have to be very careful on how you prune. You want to make those pruning cuts right below the bloom. Don't go down too far or you're cutting off those flower buds for next year. If you're unsure about that, the best time to prune those is right after they flower. That's the safest thing to do. The second group of hydrangea are the paniculata type or the smooth leaf hydrangea and they can be grouped together. These hydrangea form buds in the spring and early summer. Then they flower in late summer and early fall. And so you can prune these at any time in the fall and you won't be cutting off the flower buds because they haven't started to form yet. They won't be formed until next year. Do you have to deadhead hydrangea? Well, the answer is no. I don't usually deadhead hydrangea. Now, I grow mostly the smooth type and the paniculatas, but I just leave these on over winter. These heads are kind of pretty lucky. And even in the middle of winter, they'll get covered in snow and they look quite nice on the plant. Now, the problem with some of these are that these heads are pretty big and if we get ice storms, they do bend down and you might break the branches. So some people do like taking these heads off in late fall, but you don't have to. What I tend to do is wait until spring and then I cut the plant back. And depending on the height I want, I either cut just the flower head off or I cut it farther down. And this one I've done in a different video and I've showed you how I prune it. And I prune it down to about this height here because it's going to grow this much in one year. And if I leave this, next year's flower heads are way up there. But I'm in no rush to cut these off. I've never really had a problem with an ice storm breaking these branches. They're pretty flexible and the plant can take it. And even if they do break, I'm going to cut it lower down in spring anyways. So to summarize, you have to know the type of hydrangea you have. And that's important even for cultural information. So find out what that type is. For the first group we looked at, the macrophyllas and the oak leaves, prune right after the flower is finished. And make sure you don't cut off next year's flower buds. For the aborescence and paniculata types, there's no rush to prune the flower heads off, and you can do that next spring. Even if you do it a little late in spring, you won't be cutting next year's flowers off because they develop in late spring and early summer. Hydrangeas are really easy to take care of if you know which type you have.
Now I have some other hydrangea videos and I'll put a link to those in the top right hand corner. Happy gardening!